Welcome back to the channel guys, today I'll be bringing you some more gameplay and performance from Cyberpunk 2077. This time I'll be running it with a few mods, I'll go through those in a moment. So playing at a resolution of 3840 by 2160, 90 field of view, chromatic aberration, depth of field, um, and lens flare. All of these settings don't really affect performance too much, it all depends on how you want it to look. I don't like motion blur, I don't like chromatic aberration or film grey. Now, in terms of all the other settings, everything's at high or ultra, and I've got ray tracing on completely as well. So I'm using DLSS at quality, and also I'm using maximum crowd density as well. So those are the in-game settings. So I'm using a few mods with Cyberpunk. The game is already heavy to run, so you will be using quite a lot of VRAM when you use these mods. So I'm using a mod for surfaces. That's basically bumped up the resolution of all the surfaces in the game and all the textures. I'm also using a LOD and um, uh, basically draw distance improvement so it's 10 times more than the game's default and um, I'm using a ray trace optimized mod as well I'm not too sure how it work how well it works but it's meant to give you back a little bit more performance while using ray tracing and um, I'm using the mod that disables the 2d lights so usually in this game cars in the very distance are 2d sprites really they're not real cars and they don't look that great so there's a mod that disables that as well um, I'm running a few other mods I'll put all of the mods I'm using in the description box and uh, you guys can check those out using the better driving experience mod as well and um, that's meant to provide better handling with the cars yeah just so many mods out for this game so many really really good mods as well that can completely change some of the games uh, like handling and the way it feels so that's one of the main things about PC gaming is what the devs don't fix sometimes the modding community will you don't always have to wait for official support so it's been a while since I've played Cyberpunk I beat the game obviously and um, just waiting for the 1.5 patch now that should bring a massive update. Hopefully it will bring some DLC with it as well. I've been waiting for that. I actually had to start a new file because I've literally completed every single mission in this game. So when it comes to making videos, there was nothing to do on my file. So I had to really start again. But luckily someone's made a new game plus mod. So you basically you start the game again, but um, you end up I'm having like your max level and, and some items, so it's a pretty good mod. You can check that out as well. Great, get the call. V, something in Northside just erupted, and apparently it's got Maelstromers hauling ass out of there. See what's going on exactly and let me know. Okay, I'll check it out. So it's probably a cyber psycho on a loose. Some blood around here. Yeah, it's definitely a cyber psycho. Solo Valentino. How do you think he'll go? Damn, he hit him with a flashbang or something. Get back here. Do you think they're running to? simple enough. I'm not allowed to fully, fully kill them, just incapacitate them, so uh, the police officer, Regina, can do some research or study them or whatever she wants to do. So I'll read this shard called Farewell. Okay. Now I need to message Regina. About what happened. Okay, that's pretty much mission complete. I don't remember how I even got in here. This guy led me on some wild goose chase. Need to find my way out.
So performance, let's talk a little bit about it. it it's not going to be great. We all know that Cyberpunk is a very, very heavy game, even without mods. And some of these mods do, obviously, make the game a little bit more demanding. Uh, as you can see, um, using almost 11 gigabytes now. So you've got to be aware of your VRAM, depending on the mod you want to use. And um, yeah, with all ray tracing, you're going to be um, in the low 40s uh, to high 50s, really. You're not going to get a 60 FPS experience. Let's do another side mission here. I don't think I should do. Oh, there's an assault in progress. Sometimes you can do these missions where you help the police. So let's try doing one of those. I prefer to drive with my Xbox 360 control pad. That's why you're seeing the uh, control pad buttons. I'm not playing with control pad. I just like to drive with my control pad. In terms of the textures mod, the surface one that I downloaded, you know, it's hard to tell um, because the game looked pretty okay in the first place, but it's meant to redo all the road, the tarmac and everything, the asphalt, everything, so I don't know if this looks better to you guys. It looks kind of more of the same to me. It doesn't really stand out as a, as a mod, but um, I'm assuming it's definitely better quality than the vanilla. Missed my turning there. Man, I didn't even want to kill that guy, but it is what it is. It's, it's done now. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. Park up here. Just ah, fuck you. Definitely something I can do nearby. So let's stay away from the main mission. So there's an assault in progress just around the corner. It's just a little bit up the road. CPD subcons. Suspected organized crime activity reported at corner of Drake and Cartwright. Tiger Claw gang members suspected of armed robbery and extortion are at the scene. Leader is Mokomichi Yamada, aka Motor Boy. Cities put up a reward for the removal of Yamada and his accomplices from the area. Okay, so I got some Tiger Claw guys I need to take down. Probably be more fitting if I take them out with a weapon. Like this? How are you guys doing? all of them. Yeah, I think that's all of them. So effectively, the, the police just freelance you just to take care of certain things they don't really want to do. And they do pay you. So you're basically a bounty hunter almost in a way. Just you, don't, you just don't have to bring back any bodies. Away. Probably some more stuff to do nearby. Suspected the crime activity. 
I'll go on foot this time. So a lot of people complain that the game's dead. There is, for me, I've never noticed an issue with the, the amount of NPCs. Maybe on console it's a lot worse, but on PC it's never been that bad, especially if you have uh, crowd density at high. You guys like my submachine gun. God damn it! Got a few more time, of course. Few of them as well. I'm just be headed up. Running through these cycles like there's nothing. Take one of their bikes and get out of here. Is anything else nearby I can do? There's another assault in progress around the corner. Okay, we've arrived. I'm gonna kick things off straight away. I guess they knew this wasn't a social call. What you got? Still alive. Okay, safe again. So VRAM's up to 12 gigabytes now, so it depends where you are. Um, it's not really leaking, but depending on where you are, you will use a bit more in some areas. Let me just steal this person's car. I'll do anything. So Night City is pretty much the most demanding part in the game, and. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you're going to be in the mid 40s um, to high 50s. You won't really do 60 with these settings. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for me. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.